Welcome back guys. On today's video, we're talking audio, more specifically console companion audio and how to adjust what microphone or headset you're using throughout that app. Stick around and they'll show you how it's done. All right, we're diving straight into the console companion app. If you haven't seen our earlier video on how to actually install and stream using this software without a capture card, the link is going to be above or down in the description below. Go watch that and then pick up here where you left off. If you've already seen that, on your left hand side, you'll notice a little cog wheel on the bottom. That's where we wanna click on and that's the settings option. If you start to scroll down, you'll see a section called party and under that you'll see speaker and microphone. This is where in this app, you can actually select what device it plays out to and records from for your party chat inside the Xbox. If you notice mine is set to default device and you can change that to any other device that you have listed as an option currently on the computer. I'm going to go ahead and open my actual sound settings for my PC and what you'll find here is if you notice my standard device is speakers which is actually the headset that I stream through and then for my microphone it's line in it's actually this XLR mic here. These are the default devices that will work for the console companion app by default. Now, if you want a secondary microphone, because maybe you want to be able to talk to your stream and your party separately, you don't want to use the same mic so that way you could mute one or the other when talking to the other, you can use a USB type desktop mic or the other option would actually be to use an actual Xbox headset plugged directly into your Xbox controller. If I take my Xbox controller that's plugged directly into the computer via USB cable and I plug in my headset directly into it, what you will see is the actual setting for my input device will change to the Xbox headset, which you see here. My speakers don't change by default, but if I choose the drop down, I could select Xbox controller headphones here as well. Now these will now be an option over here on the app. You sometimes will though have to close the app and relaunch while it's plugged in to get it to be a device that you can select here because what it will show are only the, the the devices that are selected by default when the app is originally launched. Once you have the devices selected that you want to use for your input and output, go ahead and choose the connection field, which is right above the cog wheel. And then we're gonna go ahead and select stream to launch the Xbox. Now that we have our Xbox launched, the next part is actually very important. If you notice in the top right hand corner, there's a microphone with a mute symbol listed on top of it. You have to actually click this to unmute the chat option. If you don't do this, regardless of what selection you have set up, it will never work and you won't be able to hear your party. So what you'll see if I come over and start a party, it will show my little icon for my gamer tag and then it puts a ring around my, my logo. And what you will see is as I speak, it will bolden the bar and that's how you will know that I'm actually talking. As I get quiet, the bar goes smaller and that's how you can tell that it's reacting to the voice that's coming through. Now, the way that you know your headset is working is you can actually hear the sound when you use your joysticks and mouse around, or if you actually join into a party, you will hear your party chat talking through this. Now you're actually ready to go and everything's set up. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Hopefully these few tips helped. One thing I have noticed is typically the default device for your computer works best. So even though you can change it under the settings in the app, if it doesn't update once you choose the drop down box, sometimes just make sure you relaunch the console companion app or even restart your computer to get it to update accordingly. If you have any other questions that I haven't answered today, please leave them in the comments below and we'll definitely try our best to help you out. And if it did help, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, guys.